Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading view with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about NZD USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which is currently testing a quite strong monthly support and demand area. In fact, from here, all this previous rejection to the upside was created. The market then broke below the zone. That previous support was turned resistance here, and now the market has broken back above the level. So that previous resistance is once again turned support here as the market is currently testing it. And we could expect a potential rejection to the upside to be created away from this level. We can also notice that from a pattern standpoint, we have a very clear impulse followed by this correction. And in general, after an impulse, if we want to measure the correction, we must take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg, which in this case shows us how we have the 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracements lining up exactly inside of this area, creating a confluence of support, which we could in fact expect this market to potentially reject to the upside. So the monthly time frame as well here seems quite bullish. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, from a weekly perspective, it is quite clear the type of, the type of structure that the market has been creating lately. In fact, we can notice how it has been respecting this area quite precisely. This zone was acting as previous support here, preceding all these rejections to the upside. Then we had a break below the zone and that previous support was turned resistance here and respected as resistance in all these occasions. Now the market has broke back above the area. So this previous resistance is now turned support and has been respected as support here. And at the moment, the market is testing the exact same level. And there is definitely the possibility to see a potential rejection to the upside being created away from this level. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily perspective, we can see how in creating this move to the downside, the market also has the possibility of creating an M pattern. And if an M pattern will be created, testing the support that we have on the monthly and weekly time frames all across this area here, at that point, there is a quite good probability from this area to see a potential rejection to the upside, completing the M pattern. Because after the creation of an M pattern, what you would expect is a potential rejection higher for the completion of the M pattern itself. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing, and we check the data precisely for the NZD, the first thing to keep in mind is that if we're checking the data for the NZD, we're actually already checking NZD USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. And what we can notice is that with the last reports, net positions got increased from minus 19.6K all the way up to minus 1K. So essentially, institutions have been moving back to the bullish side for the NZD, meaning to the bullish side for NZD USD, making it quite stronger. So in a situation like this, if the market will successfully manage to create an M pattern from a daily perspective, what I would expect in a situation like this? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to identifying 
purely shifts in a trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our end lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish market to an intraday bullish market, at that point, I would expect a potential move higher for the market to complete this M pattern from a daily perspective at the neckline, which is essentially this previous resistance turn support, also fueled by more potential institutional longing happening inside of this area, since already we can see how institutions have been increasing their net positions lately. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that Directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And. I will see you in my next breakdown.